We've had a potential customer come in and ask us to uh, look at a print and cut solution uh, for him. So he sent us in a sort of example artwork and uh, so we'll test it for him, see how we get on. So we print this out just on the office printer um, and we're going to use this mirror nine has uh, an overhead camera on it as well. So we're going to use a sort of combo of the print and cut feature um, with the camera as well. So I'm going to just sort of to highlight how accurate it could potentially be. You're going to put it in at a slight angle because obviously the point of the print and cut is that you can't align it perfectly all the time um, just by placing it in and putting it against the datum. Um, so we put that in there. Loaded the artwork um, into um, Lightburn. Now it must be noted that your reg marks as well, they, they, they need to be grouped uh, for the print and cut function to work. If they're not grouped, you could be stressing out like, why, why can't I start the wizard or why can't I select my first target? Well, that's the main reason. Then we're going to come over, update our overlay. And I might just move all of this out of the way over here. But I've set the resolution uh, by playing with the auto exposure and the auto brightness to pick out these marks. Um, when I first did it, it was just a white piece of paper. I couldn't see anything. So I had to have a play around until I could pick them out. Okay, so the first part is now I need to use the pin tool. So if I choose the pin tool over here and then I can zoom in can choose the center of the crosshair and the laser move to the center of the crosshair. Okay, so I've got my red dot pointer on the center a bit. If I want to sort of tweak it, I could just go to the moves, turn off my continuous jog. I've just set it to a 0.5 increment. I could move it up a bit until I'm sort of happy that my red dot is spot on. So in here, I then choose my first ridge mark Use the keyboard shortcut Alt and 1, and that one's set. Then go back to do number 2, zoom in. That's going to put it on to that one. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so choose the select tool, otherwise I'm going to um, be moving uh, the pin again. Highlight that one. This time it's Alt and 2 to select target 2, and we're ready to go. Um, it's in here, laser tools, if you want to check it, and you can see the keyboard shortcuts. And then the third one I would have done was align output to targets. So when I get the ring around it, the green ring, it's ready to go. And when I look onto the machine now, when I press start, Shadow, yeah. If we, if we zoom in, just move the gantry out of the way, and we can see that it's actually well, I mean, it's pretty much perfect to be fair. And the interesting thing on this that we can see is um, I used the scaling out, but as I said before, I printed this with my um, standard office printer. And I noticed when I did this job the first time around that it was cutting, uh, the alignment was completely off. But when I measured it here, I realized that this is undersized. It was supposed to be 90 millimeters diameter and it's about 86, 87. Um, so when I checked it within light burn, I could see this ring here and I could see up here that it was 90 millimeters and it wasn't. So as soon as I choose the option with scaling as well, which is obviously good for a roll to roll machine where you'll get linear distortion and scaling distortion that actually it corrected the alignment beautifully, plus the rotation of the artwork uh, and it did it spot on.